So, let us have some interactive problem solving sessions by, by students who have taken this course. Uh, so, you will see some uh, illustrations and examples into problem solving uh, which is useful to understand and digest the concepts learnt during the lectures. So, hello everyone, I am Priya Jain Adkarni, a PhD student at IISC. Uh, today we will solve a problem which came uh, in the exam 1 of the MMT SP course in 2015. Uh, so, basically uh, we have a structure here which is basically a 3 channel synthesis bank with 3 filters. Uh, so, uh, which is given by F0, F1 and F2. Uh, so, there is an equivalent structure of it given uh, using a DFT matrix R naught of Z, Z cube, R 1 of Z cube and R 2 of Z cube and uh, in the question it is been meant uh, R naught of Z is been given as 1 plus Z inverse, R 1 of Z has been given as 1 minus Z power minus 2, R 2 of Z is 2 plus Z inverse and uh, what we need to do is find the expressions for the 3 synthesis filters which is F naught of Z, F 1 of Z and F 2 of Z. So, let us first understand the question. So, this is given to us and uh, on the other end uh, the same thing can be represented as a synthesis bank with 3 filters F naught, F 1 and F 2 and we need to get the uh, representation of F naught, F 1 and F 2. So, let us uh, solve it. So, from uh, this particular figure which has this DFT matrix W basically is the DFT matrix here. we obtain y of z is equal to z power minus 2 r naught of z power 3 y naught tilde of z plus z inverse r 1 of z cube y 1 tilde of z plus r 2 z cube y 2 tilde of z. So, this is basically obtained by considering uh, considering these signals here and uh, then multiplying them by the respective uh, filters uh, impulse response and then considering these delays. So, now we need to uh, find out F naught, F 1 and F 2. So, we can see that. Uh, so, let us first write down what uh, F naught, F 1 and F 2 is. Now, suppose y 1 of n equals to y 2 of n equals to 0 for all n that is that is y 1 of z equals to y 2 of z is equal to 0. Then the system reduces to this y naught of n f naught of z and y of n. So, therefore, we have f naught of z in this case can be written as y of z by y naught of z given y 1 of z is equal to y 2 of z is equal to 0. So, given that y 1 and y 2 are 0, we can write f naught in this format. So, let us mark this as uh, okay, let us mark this equation as number 1 and this is number 2. So, on similar terms, we write f 1 of z is equal to y of z by y 1 of z when y 2 of z equals to y naught of z equals to 0 and 
and f 2 of z equals to y of z by y 2 of z given y naught of z equals to y 1 of z equals to 0. So, let us label this 3 and 4. Okay. So, now going back from this particular part uh, let us obtain the equation. So, from the DFT circuit, we have y naught tilde of z, y 1 tilde of z and y 2 tilde of z which is basically the output from the DFT block is equal to 1 1 1 1 omega omega square 1 omega square omega power 4 and the input y naught of z, y 1 of z, y 2 of z. So, basically this is 3 point DFT. So, let us label this as phi. Uh, one more thing to mention is that uh, omega here is e power minus j 2 pi by 3. So, this basically implies omega cube equals to 1 and omega 4 is nothing but omega. So, from all these equations let us compute f naught of z, f 1 of z and f 2 of z. So, first let us compute f naught of z. So, we set y 1 of z equals to y 2 of z to be equal to 0 in equation phi. So, this basically gives us y naught tilde of z equals to y 1 tilde of z equals to y 2 tilde of z is equal to 1. So, further using the equations 1 and 2, we get f naught of z to be z power minus 2 r naught of z cube plus z inverse r 1 of z cube plus r square uh, r 2 of z cube. So, this is by uh, replacing all these parameters into equation 1. So, we know the values of uh, r naught of z, r 1 of z and r 2 of z, let us substitute that. So, by substituting that we get z power minus 2 1 plus z power minus 3 plus z inverse into 1 minus z power minus 6 plus 2 plus 3 z inverse. So, on simplification we get this to be 2 plus z inverse plus z power minus 2 plus 3 z power minus 3 plus z power minus 5 minus z power minus 7. So, similarly let us compute f 1 of z. So, again here we set y naught of z and y 2 of z to be equal to 0 and we obtain. So, basically from equation 5 y naught tilde of z is 1, y 1 tilde of z is omega, y 2 tilde of z is 
omega square. So, again using 1 and 3 we get f 1 of z is equal to z power minus 2 r naught of z cube plus z inverse r 1 of z cube into omega plus r 2 of z cube into omega square. So, substituting again we get z power minus 2 1 plus z power minus 3 plus z inverse omega 1 minus z power minus 6 plus omega square 2 plus 3 z power minus 3 and simplifying that we get 2 omega square plus omega z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2 plus 3 omega square z power minus 3 plus z power minus 5 minus omega z power minus 7. So, similarly we can do it for f 2 of z where uh, we put y naught of z to be equal to 0 and y 2 of z to be equal to 0. So, again so again from equation phi we get uh, y naught tilde of z to be equal to 1, y 1 tilde of z to be equal to omega square y 2 tilde of z is equal to omega and using 1 and 4 we obtain f 2 of z is z power minus 2 r naught of z cube plus z inverse omega square r 1 of z cube plus omega r 2 of z cube. So, again substituting it back so on simplification we get 2 omega plus omega square z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2 plus 3 omega z power minus 3 plus z power minus 5 minus omega square z power minus 7. So, one observation is that f 1 of z is equal to omega square f naught of omega z and f 2 of z is equal to omega f naught of omega square of z. So, therefore, by using all this we have obtained f naught f 1 and f 2. Yeah, thank you.